fifth straight year. More good news. Riders on NJ Transit will not have to fork over more money on their commute. News 12's Carolyn Blackburn is live at the train station in Metro Park to tell us exactly why and how are they managing to do this. Carolyn. Absolutely. NJ Transit riders we spoke to right here in Metro Park this morning say while gas prices are soaring, they are so glad that train fares will be staying the same. Now, NJ Transit officials expect that operating budgets will keep the agency running for the next four years. But come the fiscal year of 2026, it will face a hole of $550 million. After the last of $216 million in federal COVID aid is spent. So, so the million dollar question here, how will NJ Transit make up for the deficit? It's counting on more people returning to the office. The agency expects ridership is going to bounce back to 90% of pre pandemic levels by fiscal year 2025, with about 10% of people still working remotely. Again, fares will stay the same, but NJ Transit expects to earn more as more commuters need to get back to work. Fair revenue is anticipated to reach 945 million by fiscal year 2026. That's a great relief for riders because uh, considering that the gas are going up, prices are going up and of course the, the taxes and so are of course getting up for riders is a great relief. And the St. Patrick's Day, NJ Transit will be adding more bus and rail lines to get to New York City for the big parade today. But as a reminder, you cannot eat or drink on the trains and you must wear a mask. In Metro Park, Carolyn Blackburn, News 12, New Jersey.